Hi, this is Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe today. Tequila, 90 seconds or less. Here it is. Everyone's talking about the new Volon single barrel Reposado. This is barrel number three. This is coming out of Los Altos at El Pendilo, Felipe Camarina. Everything that man makes is amazing. So here you go. This guy, there's only a thousand bottles of this Reposado made, okay? There's uh, five barrels, and there was about 200 bottles coming out of each barrel. As I say, barrel number three. This is really, really good. I have to tell you, there's a lot of floral on the nose. There's some olive, some brine, some spice. It's got the fruit. It's got even that minty chalk. Like, uh, they call it wet cement, the old guys, or, uh, you know, wet earth. It's got that that profile, to me, it's like the old Carido. Oh, and that's just the best. So it's got it's got a clean, earthy, really great presence to it. Even like a little fruit, apple-y sort of, you know. But it's very balanced and light, as you can see. It's light, all right? And it's delicious. It's light, but there's a lot going on. And uh, it is really balanced. So, you know, you know the deal at uh, El Pandilo, you know. Uh, slow cooked in stone brick ovens. The homemade Tahona, which they call the Frankenstein, or some of us call the Felipenstein. And then it's uh, fermented in stainless steel and double distilled in all copper. This is aged six months in American white oak use spent whiskey bourbon barrels. That's the way Felipe likes to do it. It brings that agave forward, you know. So this is really good like that. It's got a lot of great stuff. Let's give it a quick taste for you. I had a little already. Oh, boy. Like I say, very limited, small batch. You know, and I, each barrel, you know, just inherently, is going to be slightly different, but it's all going to have that same similar profile, you know? Just maybe different notes. Oh, man, that mint, that chalk, that wet cement kind of thing with the earthy freshness going on. A little, little touch of vanilla, not a lot. Cooked agave. Light whiskey, so light because of those spent barrels. I mean, look at this. So um, six months, and it's not that dark. This is additive-free. You know that already. Some light clove or pepper. Some light fruit. Sweet agave, pepper, some spice. That fruitiness. Maybe a little citrus. Definitely a very floral. And again, that light oak and minerals. What else could I say? Because, you know, this is equal amounts now of deep well water, rainwater, and spring water. So it's like 33 point whatever of each. This is an equal mix, okay? Felipe plays around with his water, as you know, and this guy has it all in it. So I got to tell you on Tequila Matchmaker, 93. Really, I, I'm not the greatest Reposado lover because it's a hard expression to make. It could get stuck in the middle sometimes. And, you know, Felipe does use those light, worn barrels. So for a Blanco lover like me, can't go wrong. And for someone who likes aged tequilas, you'll get enough out of it. This is really, really good. It's delicious. I'm all in. If you can find it, it's not easy to find. This is Volans, single barrel, Reposado, only a thousand bottles made. They're telling me they may come out with a Reposado next year. Let's hope so. And for the meantime, salute, thumbs up for Volon, single barrel.